Okay, today we're going to be unboxing a Xantrex uh, inverter slash charger. It's the Freedom SW line. Uh, basically a true sign, high surge, wide temp, and full featured uh, Freedom SW. And is the state of the art, the heart of it, the power system. Uh, they have two available, 2000 watt, 3000 watt. This one here is the 3012 series, which is the 3000 watt. A uh, little bit of a story behind this one. Um, as you can see, this is a slightly dented on this side. Um, this is actually the third one that I purchased. Uh, the first one, uh, UPS delivered to the house, it required a signature, and uh, I wasn't available, so they came by the next day and lost the package. The uh, second one that I ordered uh, was ripped to shreds. Uh, basically, it looked like somebody dropped it similar to this right here. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's pretty, pretty banged up here but there was water damage on the second unit and it was pretty, like I said, tore up. There was a dent in the uh, bracket. So on this one, we'll see, we'll open it up and see if there's any damage to this one. It looks like it's in pretty good shape for as heavy it is, as it is. This is uh, gonna add 70 uh, pounds to whatever uh, installation you're going to, uh, uh, whatever you're gonna install it on. We're gonna uh, install it on an RV. So that'll add approximately 70 pounds along with some cables uh let me see now let's go ahead and pop this thing open yeah. okay so uh, i had to get myself uh, something to open it with here's just pop this puppy open this should be a relatively quick uh, uh video uh after i post this up i'm gonna go ahead and do the install uh, on the rv i'm gonna record that as well and so i'll provide install instructions uh, as i do them on the rv as well as uh, a review of the product. This looks like it's in there pretty good. Um, we have a looks like a template uh, for mounting purposes, uh, mounting template. Um, so let's go ahead and put that to the side. Uh, let me see, we've got a couple of manuals here, installation guide. I'm assuming this is going to be uh, got an owner's guide and um, an installation guide. Um, so we'll go ahead put those off to the side as well. Uh, what have we got here? This was just, uh, looks like it's just bouncing around in there. Um, let's see what this is. It looks like cable. So yeah, no big deal that it was bouncing around. Shouldn't be any damage to that. Okay. This is, uh, I believe this is for temperature, uh, temperature gauge. Um, but uh, we'll see. And let me see here, we got caps as well as a uh, termination uh, plug for the uh, Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi, the uh, internet connection um, or uh, ethernet connection. A little bit of hardware here. Okay, and now the hard part is going to be taking this puppy out. It is 70 healthy pounds. And we got here, looks like uh, wiring diagrams, uh, freedom inverse, parallel stacking. These can actually be stacked to increase uh, your uh, power um, and inverter charger series stacking configuration as well. Uh, so parallel and serial stacking. And, uh, by the way, this is going to be installed in a Navion. It's a Winnebago Navion. Uh, used to be Itasca. Navion uh, uh, RV, 25-foot uh, Class C. So let's go ahead and pop this out. Yeah, as you can see, the damage here. Easy. And it looks like the packaging material really held up well, at least compared to the last unit I had. Oh, not good. Uh, somebody definitely dropped that one. Uh, so let me go ahead and I'm going to put this back over this way. Watch the fingers. 
take this side off again, watching the fingers. Okay, there you have it. It's uh, brackets are nice and uh, flat like they should be. Um, again, last time the bracket was all bent up. It is the Freedom SW3012. Should always check to make sure what's in the package is what uh, is uh, written on the outside of the package and what you paid for. Let's go ahead and turn this around. We'll go ahead and take a close-up look at the uh, at the unit itself. We've uh, there you go. You got the uh, Freedom uh, 3012. Three, three, three um, here's the back of the unit. This is where you're going to have your uh, um, negative uh, uh, power coming in from the batteries and the positive and then it looks like uh, you've got your some 30 amp uh, breakers here AC in AC out uh, not sure what this is wiring box cover must be in place during operation uh, I'm not sure what, what the covers there for but we'll take a look and see uh, there is a couple more things I wanted to uh, go over fairly quickly um, the Xantrex this here the 3000 the 3012 and uh, the, also the 2000 unit is uh, pure sine wave um, versus uh, um, well not pure sine wave the pure sine wave essentially uh, uh, mirrors the 60 Hertz uh, that you find in your home which all of your devices will like uh, if it isn't a pure sine wave inverter, you run a chance of burning out, overheating uh, your electronics, especially power supplies, battery chargers, those types of things. And if you have like an electronic clock, that's just not going to work uh, because it's looking for that 60 hertz um, for the clock and uh, a non-pure sine wave inverter will not give you that. Uh, this also has a charger uh, on it as well. Old auto gen start accessory, which is really nifty. So if all of a sudden the batteries are going low, uh, you have a device and it'll tell your generator to kick on uh, before this actually gets out. So that's a really nice feature to have. Uh, Built-in transfer switch automatically transfers between inverter power and incoming AC power. Uh, power factor connected multi-stage charger, blah, blah, blah. Um, and I think that's it. Uh, you, get the, you get the idea. Um, so we'll go ahead and uh, continue on uh, with the install uh, at some point and I'll post that up as well. Uh, again, thanks for watching. Bye.